all right, pencils down. Stop studying, stop working, stop trying to make money. That's it. Okay, I said pencils down. It's time to stop being productive. Now, I know this is kind of a change in the direction of our channel in which we were talking about seven ways to be productive and we want to be self-help improvement gurus and how to make money, learning to make passive income, learning how to code, but uh, that's over now. And in fact, it's just simply not cool anymore today to even show yourself working, right? You go on YouTube, do you see anybody out here working? Nobody's working. Everybody's out there living their best lives, having fun, frolicking around, dancing, going to events, traveling, eating food. That's what people are doing out here, maybe having fun, interesting conversations, having these podcasts, but nobody is actually sitting down working and nobody wants to see you work either. And not to mention the opportunity for a lot of this is gone now. Uh, if you're poor, then you might just be poor forever. And if you're rich, you're going to be rich and stay rich. And that's just how things are going to be. So if you're out there trying to make money, and I totally get why everybody's trying to do this, people want to be rich. I need to give you a bit of dose of reality, which is that there may simply not be enough opportunities. And if you don't have the money now, you may, I mean, you just may never have it. Okay, like you could be poor forever. And the reason for this is because the middle class is shrinking, actually, like the poor are getting poor, the rich are getting richer, and there's just no middle class anymore. There's no opportunities. So if you're rich, you're making more from your investments and you have money, you're using that money to leverage it to make more money. And then if you're in the middle class, you may be drifting down into the lower class. And so I'm sorry to say, but that path that your parents laid out for you, which is maybe you go to school, you study, you get a normal, decent job, that's middle class. We're going to categorize that as poor. Being middle class, I feel like you're really just in between a rock and a hard place. So what's going on is that you can get straight A's in school, you can graduate from a great college, you can get your internships, your research positions, whatever, you get the job, you're poor. I mean, the reality is you're not even going to get a job. I mean, just look around. You've got all these tech companies laying off thousands of employees and they're not going to go into middle class. There's no middle class. They're drifting down into poor class and their qualifications just weren't good enough. I mean, they studied hard. They got through college. They got their degree. They got good grades. It's not enough. They're going to become poor now. And this trend is accelerated with ChatGPT AI taking up even more jobs. And then you've got other factors like technology, outsourcing, immigration, diversity initiatives, or whatnot that may be further removing jobs or reducing pay. Inexpensive coastal cities like San Francisco or New York needs an income of at least 300000 a year. For reference, just 10% of all households made $200,000 or over in 2020. And when you combine that with a recession, we may be entering a new era where it's just not possible to make money anymore, unless you're rich. Like if you're rich, you're going to make more. And if you're poor, I mean, that this could be it then. It could be over for you. Like this could just be it. Like whatever money you have now, that's it. That's just, that's the stash that you've got for the rest of your life. Because I feel there's a certain disillusionment among people who think that all you need is hustle willpower, mindset, determination, perseverance. And there's so much self-help improvement advice out there where people say to work harder. Work, work on what? Work harder at what? What do you want people to do? Code something, build some, build what? Right, it's like when you look at the coding frontier, apps are dead, APIs are dead. No platform is giving access to any data because it's too valuable for ChatGPT. Apple threatened today to shut down another app, Damus, because they weren't using their micropayments API. Apple wants their 30% app store cut. Web3 basically got killed off, so that's over. You've got Reddit shutting down their data APIs, and AI is eating up a bunch of other jobs. And then very few people are able to take advantage of ChatGPT AI because we don't have the data, and that API platform is basically closed closed source by OpenAI. Where is it that a team from India, you know, three super smart engineers could actually build something truly substantial? Look, the way this works is we're going to tell you it's totally hopeless to compete with us on training foundation models you shouldn't try and it's your job to like try anyway. I think it, I think it is pretty hopeless. But So what's going on is a few AI startups may get rich, but the rest of us are going to get poor. And so we're entering an era where making money, I think, is just going to get harder and harder. It's kind of like imagine living in Afghanistan. There's no opportunities there. Like you tell some kid in Afghanistan, work hard, have perseverance, determination, have positive mindset. No, that kid's probably still going to grow up poor. There's just no opportunities out there. And America is becoming like that. Now, that's not to mention if the poor are getting poor, well, who's getting richer out there? 
Well, unfortunately, we get to see these rich people on social media all the time on Instagram, YouTube, living out their best lives, traveling on private jets, living in mansions, driving Lamborghinis, wearing Rolex watches, maybe just talking on YouTube. Or, you know, some of these people, they're just eating free food at the Google cafeterias, showing that off in their day in the life videos. And that's kind of what people want nowadays, because people are able to see really the best lifestyles out there. And people are awakening up to that. And nobody really wants the wage slave nine to five life anymore. And so the funny thing is today, nobody celebrates working hard anymore. You don't see a YouTube clip of somebody working hard, studying, coding away. So first day in the day, public, class, cut. So and day you choose No, people are just out there showing their best lives, having fun. And that's what people want to see. And that's cool. And so in my opinion, the era of social media self-help gurus is shifting away, basically. It's losing some popularity because nobody wants to hear about seven ways to make money, seven ways to improve your productivity, seven ways to optimize your mindset. You know, people kind of get that by now. It's like there's no secret key to success. You just got to work hard. And people are more interested in really seeing others spending money, right? It's like the most popular channel, Mr. Beast, is a guy who just spends loads of money. That's what people want to see. People don't want to see you making money. That's not interesting. That's not popular. It's not cool to make money. You want to be unpopular? And so it's not going to get you any dates if you're just sitting around slaving away at your wage slave nine to five job trying to make a few bucks, trying to make money. People aren't impressed by that at all. People want to see the Lambos, the mansions, travel lifestyle, or maybe they want to go watch uh, music, gaming, art, or maybe just argue over politics and try to tear each other down. That's what people are interested in, not in trying to make money anymore. I mean, it's like there are phases in society where everybody goes to the self-help section and the bookstore, and that used to be popular, like you want to see rich dad, poor dad content. But then after a while, people are fed up with that. Seven ways to influence your friends and make money. No, people are done with that. Like It doesn't work. People get it. And then people just want to read Harry Potter. And I think we're entering this sort of people want to read Harry Potter phase. And quite frankly, even people who seem to have money are just sitting around acting depressed because the next step is they have to go out there and actually match those influencer lifestyles that everybody's watching on YouTube. People who are actually spending boatloads of cash, that's the lifestyle everybody's aspiring to now. So it's not enough to simply just make money. You got to first get to that, get some money, and then you have to actually spend that money, and then you have to have the time to spend that money. So it's like three levels up that you got to get to, and you're like, you don't even have the money to be able to uh, spend it and have the time to do that for. So in addition to you simply not having opportunities anymore because we're just pulling up the ladder, there's no middle class anymore. You're either poor or you're rich, nothing in between. You've also got the most successful people blasting out how amazing their lives are on social media 24 seven as if it's normal and everybody's aspiring for that. And nobody wants to see you working, struggling. Like, is, are you poor? Like nobody wants to associate with the poor class. People want to aspire to that rich class. That's who you're going to be compared with. It's like, why can't you be like Mr. Beast handing out millions of dollars every single day to just random people? Like, why can't you do that? And so you've just got all these people so far behind, falling further behind by the day where they, they first have to make the money. And they can't even make the money. But once they do, assuming they can, they have to figure out how to spend that money. That's going to take some time and effort to figure out which watch they want, which Lambo, which mansion they want. And then they have to get the time, maybe figure out a way to quit their jobs, which right now they don't even have. And then they have to set up passive income streams. That's going to take time to set up so that they can do some travel. And it's like, you just can't catch up anymore after a while. It's over. It's over. You see, you thought that you had all the time in the world, that you could just do your studies, do your nine to five job, and later on, if you just work hard, that success comes to those who work hard. Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have to. There's no guarantee that if you work hard, that there's going to be some opportunity for you, right? Like you could get into a company and they'll lay you off, or they simply, they just don't have jobs for you. That's it. Uh, so you worked hard and there's just nothing waiting for you. So here's how to think about your life. The best analogy is the Titanic, which we may be, right? America could be on the decline. But if you're on this sinking ship, are you going to study? Like there's this quiet desperation in there where nobody has time to see you study. It's like people are just wondering, what are you doing? You would just go to the buffet and just eat as much food as you can. Just try to enjoy life. And I think that's what people are doing. And that's what's cool. That's what's trendy these days. Personally, I don't consume self-help, self-improvement advice, or I don't think about ways to make money. I don't have time for that. And so the critical flaw I see so many people doing out here is they're still trying. They're still trying to save the system when it, it's over. 
You know, you see all these political debates online, people so enthusiastic and getting so heated about the country and what's best for the future of America. It's, it's over. It's over. The whole thing's going to be over. It's, it's gone. You see, if you actually know about history, around the end of World War II is when the U.S. began rewriting history in its own favor. History is written by the victors. So if your goal is truth and honor, which so many people online profess it to be, and you're so heated about what's right and what's wrong, I mean, look, you're living in an entire life. Your whole life is a lie, right? So maybe you should just accept that. And you're either going to make it or you're not going to make it. And there's no in-between. There's no try. It's like what Yoda says, do or do not. But there's no middle ground here. So here's my advice. The window of opportunity is closing, right? The poor is getting poor. The rich is getting richer. There's no middle class. If you happen to spot an opportunity and you want to change classes from poor to rich, then you may want to go after it quickly because it's not going to last forever. Otherwise, I would just make a conscious choice now if you're going to be poor or rich. And look. There's nothing wrong with having the self-awareness and humility to say to yourself, you don't have it in you to be rich. Like, you're just going to be a poor person. That's totally cool. And then you would just want to befriend like other rich people, like say your friends or your family, instead of say, pretending that you're going to be this fiercely independent person who's disowned their parents, disowned their friends, and then you're stuck in this world with no opportunity, just working on this hustle, wasting your own time. Now, on the other hand, if you want to belong to the rich class, well, just recognize that this mediocre 9 to 5 life of mediocrity may not cut it because that's middle class. It no longer really exists anymore. I would then otherwise find small pockets of communities that you can live in and just ignore all the crazy politics going on because it's a sinking ship. There's a lot of people who are going to waste their time. Some people are going to try to save the Titanic by scooping buckets of water out, making a lot of fuss and noise about it. But you know, maybe just look for some exit plans, something where you can spend a little bit more time outside of the U.S., take some vacation, set up remote income streams, passive income, stuff like that. And so there you have it. As a society, I believe that we're basically done making money. We're shifting away from the making of money. People aren't really interested in that. And now we're just spending money or watching other people spend money and living vicariously through them. It's over. If you like the video, give a like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.